Mr. Smith. My name is Alex Ross. I'm an occupational therapy student and um, I've been told that you have a left side CVA which is causing a right um, side hemiparesis. Is that correct? It is. Okay, so you've had an evaluation and assessment and we're going to be working on um, uh, motor and process skills, um, the occupation of eating. And so the outcome we're looking for is continued awareness of your right hand. Um, uh, it is not um, functional as of yet, is that correct? That's right. Okay, and that is your, your dominant hand? It is. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do, um, because even though movement, or as uh, movement's returning to your hand, um, there are steps that we can take as we go through um, an occupation, um, such as eating, um, to help you um, work on the process of having um, uh, function for that hand. Um, so the first one um, is uh, placing objects on your affected side. So if uh, someone is assisting you, uh, they could place objects on your right hand side, so then you start to become aware of them, and then also uh, you maintain awareness of your hand. Um, the second thing that we'll do is I will place my hand on your affected hand as we're going through um, different motions uh, to give you some uh, tactile sensation so you can start to feel and remember um, the movement of your right hand. And then the third thing um, is uh, we'll be working bilaterally, so we'll be combining working your left and your right hand together to perform some of these motions. Um, so we'll start out here uh, with getting something to drink. And so what I'll do is we'll place our right hand here to stabilize the cup. And then with your left arm, if you could pour the water into the cup. Okay, and then you're going to take your left hand and grab the cup and we're going to bring it up to your mouth. Okay, how did that feel? All right. Okay, and so then the next thing that we're going to do um, is we have a meal here. Uh, so if, to make things easier, um, we would choose a meal that didn't require um, the use of cutting uh, with the utensils. Um, and then we'll also um, discuss how to make it a little bit um, harder as, as you progress here. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we'll do, um, again I'll place my hand on your hand, and um, what you want to do is we will be uh, cutting the meat, and so you want to uh, stabilize the meat using your right hand with the fork, and then we will take the, and let's just have to put the fork in your hand. There we go. And then you want to use your left hand to cut. So it may feel a little bit awkward um, if you're used to cutting with your right hand. Um, And as you progress um, and you feel more comfortable and you have uh, more movement with this hand, then you can start to incorporate it um, more into your movements. So when you're using the cup to bring it up to your mouth, you may um, place your unaffected side under or, or just near as you're bringing it up with your hand just to be sure that um, if you have any weakness, um, or unable to complete the movement up to your mouth, but just to get your um, affected side used to um, used to the motion that you had before. And uh, again, the same thing um, with cutting your food or with bringing the fork with the food to your mouth. Um, again, you can start to work a little bit more on your right hand side as you progress. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you.